Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Live TV. In this episode, we're joined by Mr. Scott Poulter, who is heading up business development internationally for Pacific Green Technologies, ticker PGTK. PGTK has developed a patented portfolio of emissions control technologies for use in both power, plant, and marine applications. They have a veteran management team and a global footprint with offices in the U.S., Europe, and China, and they're rolling out one of the most competitive technologies to date to help large ships with Category 3 diesel engines control emissions and meet increasingly strict environmental regulations now and into the future. Good afternoon, Scott. Thanks for being on the show. Hi, Mike. Good to see you again. So we recently spoke with Dr. Neil Carmichael, the CEO of Pacific Green, and he brought us up to speed on the latest developments with regards to the first installation of your marine emissions control technology and the SECA regulations it would help large ships comply with. What can you tell us about how big the market is for this technology and why Pacific Green Technologies is uniquely situated to successfully capture market share? Well, obviously, the, the market's a new market. Um, the regulations have come into force in the last period of time. So we can't look back at history to see what the market looks like. Um, there's various data out there, some released by IMO, some released by various trade publications. It's expected that somewhere in the region of 3,500 to 5,000 uh, scrubbers will be put on uh, ships between now and probably 2020. Um, you mentioned earlier in, the, uh, in your question about SECA. Um, that's obviously relative to areas that are, are coastal. Um, and But in 2016, the IMO um, ratified the legislation to um, have a, a global uh, position for ships to be compliant um, in terms of their emissions by 2020. So we see that whatever has uh, been viewed as the market for the second ships is going to dramatically increase because now, now it's looking at uh, any global vessels. So with these new regulations in place, forcing these ships to use higher price, cleaner fuel, um, you know, what kind of economic impact are they going to see from these increased fuel costs unless they use uh, Pacific Green's emission control technology? Well, the, the, the differentiation between uh, the high and low sulfur fuels is quite dramatic. Um, you know, so if you take, for example, we, we recently uh, uh, closed an agreement with uh, Union Maritime Limited, a, 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 um, a ship owner in, uh, based out of the UK, and on the, the small vessel that they have, we're looking at about 2,700 uh, US dollars per day in fuel savings. And that goes right up to uh, sort of a VLCC class that could be anywhere in the order of um, $5 million per annum in savings between the high and low sulfur fuel. So it's pretty substantial. We're looking at anywhere between a sort of two and three year payback um, by the time we reach uh, 2020. So after that, then the, the, the value increase of um, the ship's performance economically goes up quite dramatically once the capital has been repaid back. And so it sounds like we covered that this maybe this next question and, and that answer, but just in case. So, yeah, you just mentioned that the announcement with Union Maritime uh, Pacific Green has closed an agreement to retrofit their, your innovative scrubber technology on board the chemical tanker MV Westminster uh, in the first quarter of this year. So um, you just kind of basically run us through the cost savings. Tell, tell us how this is going to roll out in the first quarter for investors, kind of paint us a picture and, and what the uh, a successful outcome will, will look like for uh, PGTK. Sure. So um, the, fir the first uh, ship that we've done with uh, Union Maritime on their Westminster, as you say, um, was based around the cost savings. So basically, we take the benefits of the cost savings on a, on a daily basis that they operate in SECA up to 2020. Um, under the terms of the agreement, um, union make a guarantee of the number of days in SECA per quarter. And as a consequence, we get payback over time in this first instance. Part of the agreement was um, to clearly demonstrate to union the, the cost savings and the cost benefits of running a scrubber over high sulfur fuel. Um, and as a consequence to which um, union have also um, have an intent to purchase up to a further 10 uh, scrubbing systems over their, uh, for their other vessels over the next 18 months. And I also think it bears mentioning for investors listening that Pacific Green is uniquely positioned in the sense that your team has been able to work with some of these large shipping concerns. Tell us about 
uh, your advantages in this industry and how hard it would be for another startup with similar technology to negotiate the deal you just completed? Well, before I answer that, uh, Mike, it's probably worth referencing, you know, the, the, the market's really quite um, separated or segregated between new builds uh, and retrofits. And in, in the retrofit environment, the, um, the engine room and the various areas that uh, a scrubber needs to go in and are operating and need to be fitted in and installed um, is pretty small, it's pretty restrictive. Um, the, the beauty with the system of the MV Marine system is that it's uh, flexible in its uh, design um, the footprint is modular um, and can be uh, tailored or adapted to environments that are pretty restrictive in space. Um, part of the ancillary equipment can also be housed slightly remotely, so if it can't be actually right next to the scrubber, it can be housed around uh, in other areas. Um, and that differentiates itself from quite a number of the other scrubbers in the marketplace, which are probably more focused on the new build marketplace. So we see that our opportunity is twofold. We see that our opportunity is to assist existing uh, ship owners with their current fleet. In the retrofit, we are, we are very competitive um, in terms of the uh, footprint of the system and the way that it can actually be designed around the, the space that's available per class of ship. Secondly, we see that probably by the time we reach the 220 uh, watershed date, that uh, there's going to be uh, potential capacity, as we mentioned at the beginning of this conversation, um, this is a, a relatively new sector. So as a consequence, most of the uh, competitors are uh, marine scrubber specialists or specifically marine scrubbers, whereas we have a, a broader base of background from uh, stationary, um, uh, stationary scrubbers, which enables us also to use potential capacity through our relationship with uh, Power China, the state-owned enterprise in China. Um, and their relations in uh, working through a lot of these refits, which will be done in uh, Asian yards, where um, these, th these um, scrubbers will be installed. Well, Scott, that's all the questions we have for today. We've covered a lot. Anything else investors should know right now about Pacific Green Technologies heading into the first quarter of 2017? Yes, in the first quarter of 2017, obviously, we will, uh, our first system will be installed on the Westminster. Um, and probably, as you know from uh, other discussions, I know you've been having, Mike, with uh, Alex Sheed regarding the, the development in Asia. Um, also, the first system that is going operational um, under a joint venture with Power China, the state owned enterprise, um, goes live in the next 30 days. So, um, this is a very, very big quarter for us. Um, and it's a great platform and a great uh, position for us to build our businesses from. Thanks for taking the time with us, Mike. We appreciate uh, seeing you again and uh, look forward to speaking to you soon. You as well, Scott. Pleasure as always having you on the show and we hope to catch up with you again soon. Yeah, take care, Mike. You as well. Bye-bye. We have uh, been talking with Mr. Scott Poulter, who heads up Business Development Internationally for Pacific Green Technologies, ticker PGTK. Pacific Green is focused on addressing the world's need for cleaner and more sustainable energy. The company's strategy is to build, through organic development and acquisition, a portfolio of patented, competitive, cutting-edge technologies designed to meet increasingly stringent environmental standards. To learn more about them, please visit their website at www.pacificgreentechnologies.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.